Hello everyone, this is Brian with sfotsource.com, your premier guide to Six Flags over Texas. We're back at the park. It is a very wet and rainy day. We found some cover here at JB Smokehouse Barbecue. Uh, we're actually here because Six Flags invited us out to test their new app and uh, we can't talk about the new app or anything, but we're very thankful to be involved in it. So we wanted to take today while we're testing the app to uh, take advantage of being here and, and give you some updates here at the park. It is very rainy though, so this video might kind of be all over the place. I will say one thing, we were here early uh, to check in for the app testing and uh, one of the really great things is all of the little restaurant, food and shopping locations around the front were open so we were able to uh, grab us a Starbucks before the park opened which is really great. So. Big kudos to Six Flags for kind of thinking ahead, getting all that stuff open so you can get drinks and uh, do all of that before you start your adventures. So we're already in the park. Let's go around, check out what they've got going on. And here from the patio of JB Smokehouse Barbecue, we've got some very nice flowers. There's lots of flowers throughout the park and they're really looking good. So as the rain lets up, we'll try to show that off. I did want to point out though, you can kind of see there at the center of the screen, like a, uh, like a frame. So it looks like here pretty soon, we're going to be getting some brand new park maps around the park, which is going to be great. Weather is cooperating with us for a little bit. So we came out onto Smith Street and right here to the left of the Primo's Pizzeria slash Smith Street Cafe, they're turning this building into a baby care building. So you can see baby care coming soon. It's a pretty good idea. And uh, you swing around to the left of that, you can see they've taken that popcorn stand that they had out during holiday in the park and have permanently put it out here. And over here near La Creperie where you have this vintage fire truck, it looks like they got something going on. Uh, this is probably just a maintenance thing. I don't think uh, it really has anything to do with anything else, but we'll keep an eye on it. And even with the bad weather, you can still uh, see Bugs Bunny out here, right here by Etienne's Cafe. Very fun. And right across from that character meet and greet, you have the Southern Palace Theater, and we recently learned brand new show coming. It'll be opening at the end of May, it's called Electro, and I encourage y'all to visit our website. You'll see a little bit more info about it on there, along with a opening weekend show schedule. So, gonna be a very fun new show. Lots of singing and dancing and special multimedia and lighting effects. We've rounded our way out of the France section here by Six Flags Universe, and at this Lemon Check location right here in front of these restrooms, they've got some new stuff. You can see there's like, Ices, nitro infused ices. You can see all the flavors there. A regular $7.99, large is $11.99. So just another new, uh, you know, offering out here. And out here in front of Aquaman Power Wave. These have been open for a while. I just don't think we pointed it out, but you can see those free ride lockers are ready and available. You can see people getting their stuff out right now. So uh, when you're in line, you put your stuff in, scan a pass. And then when you're done riding, you come around, pick up your stuff. And uh, like we've said before, Titan will be getting these lockers in the near future. So uh, these are awesome. I think the park is really going to try hard to put these where they can work. We have made our way into the Boomtown section to take a look at the progress on the extensive runaway mine train refurb and control system upgrade. And I want to know in the comments below, does this sign look like it's been repainted recently? I don't remember it being this vivid the last time we were here, but it could just be my imagination. And of course they still have the uh, sign out front of Mine Train that kind of tells you what they've got going on, but they've also got all these flowers and these, these like wheelbarrow things and it just looks really good. Just these small little touches really help a lot. So here at Runaway Mine Train, it does look like they've still got quite a bit of work to do. You can see we've got some new ride sensors over here though, which is good. If I can get the camera to focus on it, there we go. So. We were kind of talking about how they're doing like a whole rewiring. You can see all the rewiring there. It does, it does seem like there's a lot to still work on though. 
and um, you know the electrical panel that's up there I know we can't get a really good look at it but it's still uh, you know wide open getting worked on so be patient everyone it's coming we have crossed over the railroad tracks into the Gotham City section and right here on the back of Majestic Theater is another big construction zone this one is a humongous hole so I'm kind of wondering if uh, like we saw earlier they're just doing some preventative maintenance or some kind of infrastructural upgrade or if maybe there's a new food or drink stand coming here either way it uh, looks like a pretty big project back there the rain is really starting to pick up on us again but over here in this newer Gotham City section looks like totally twisted just still isn't quite ready they do have a construction wall here where the old Dippin' Dots booth used to be as we pointed out before the old Dippin' Dots booth is next to the exit of Riddler Revenge and um, as you swing this way you can see that the Joker is open you can see the train going right back into the station they actually had to do some pretty extensive work on this with the lift hill and replacing some of the components to that and having them fabricated so great to see that it's back open ready to go even with the rain running strong I don't think anyone's riding it though and we pointed out earlier that Southern Palace Theater is going to get a brand new show for the summer I'm not sure if anything's going to be happening here at Gotham City Stage. This is kind of the other really popular place for them to do shows. In current times, you can see they've struck all of the Viva La Fiesta decor and stuff like that. So we'll just have to wait and see. Of course, on top of the brand new Southern Palace Theater show, there will be fireworks on Fridays and Saturdays starting at the end of June and running through the beginning of August. So I assume those are probably going to be shot off the oil derrick. So just another really fun thing to look forward to uh, but you will have to come on Friday and Saturday because those are the only days you're gonna be able to enjoy that so just keep that in mind it's gonna be a fun time though so on top of you know all of the other fun things you have to do out here Six Flags Over Texas is also doing a scavenger hunt which we were gonna do today but with the weather being the way it is I think we're gonna hold off until it's a little bit nicer but essentially you take pictures around the park you uh, post them on social media, you send that proof to an email, and then you get a little prize at Six Flags Universe. So I encourage you all to check out the main Six Flags website. We've also posted about the scavenger hunt on uh, SFOT Source as well. So just another fun, awesome little thing you can do during the summer here. made our way into the tower section and right across from Superman Tower of Power you have Newman's Cafe and we pointed this out last time but it's way less busy today so we can actually really look at this here are the new Korean corn dogs they have here you can see those are a meal on the dining pass or they're $14.99 but you can choose between a sweet option and a spicy option I think we're gonna try one of these today all right, everyone, here's a look at that spicy Korean dog. Now, the way they made this spicy is they rolled it in flaming Hot Cheeto dust. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but you can see it does have a different kind of breading around it. This one is filled with mozzarella and a hot dog. So you can do just a hot dog. You can do just mozzarella or you can do the combo. So pretty flexible there. And then, of course, it comes with a little bit of fries on the side. Let's give it a try. All right, everyone, let's give this a try. Whoa, it's pulling forever. Super fresh. I'm assuming the hot dog is on the bottom end and the mozzarella is on the top. The coating, the breading, really crispy. The hot Cheeto dust, unless I just didn't get any, it's not really adding anything to this. I don't know if the sweet one does that. We might have to try that some other day, but it's really good. It's hand dipped, super fresh. I don't think you can go wrong with this, and it's on the dining pad, so another really swell option on the uh, food line up here. So I can say, very delicious new offering here at the park, but uh, also while we're here in the tower section, just wanted to point out, Roaring Rapids has reopened for the season. It is opening a little delayed today, but they are uh, queued up and ready to go. They've got all the pumps running, so 
every water ride here at Six Flags Over Texas is open and running for the season. And right next to the oil derrick structure, you have another one of these frames. So just like over by JB Smokehouse Barbecue, looks like you'll have another guide map right here. And I really like these because they're accessible for everybody. They're uh, tilted up, but they're also at a good level where everyone can take a look at it. As we found out, of course, they're working to get Pirates of Spelunker Cave up and running. But you can see, it doesn't look like any noticeable work has happened. Uh, there's no water in the ride, nothing's really moved up here, so hopefully it's still on track and uh, moving towards reopening here in the near future. As we continue into the Texas section, you run into the Rodeo Flat Ride, which you can see is in the process of being repainted. So they've started kind of sanding the bulls down so that they can throw some fresh paint on them. Really nice to see that this is getting some TLC, especially after everyone kind of thought this ride was done for. So definitely a fun flat ride and going to love the new, uh, the new paint. And it is certainly nice to see some ads for the summer entertainment. That's one thing that I feel like is always lacking here is, is ads for the entertainment offerings. But you can see right there, boom. They have an ad for Electro, so make sure y'all go check it out. It opens May 26th. This was pointed out on our last visit, but just wanted to point out Cinnabon construction still going strong. The only thing that's really changed is that there's a coming soon sign out here now. But as we kind of said before, they've they've stripped out the whole inside. It does look like they're starting to add some counters and stuff in there, but this is going to be full on brand new for the Cinnabon location. And here's something we haven't done in a while. Time for a train ride. 53 feet tall. It was originally built in 1990 and then we added the metal tracks to it in 2011. So it now becomes a hybrid roller coaster. The thing moves you up and down at a speed of 45 miles per hour. Runaway Mine Train. That thing was built in 1966. It was the first tubular steel roller coaster of its kind. It's one of the only tubular steel roller coasters that goes completely underwater. I drop down and go up on each end a couple of times and drop to the bus. time on the Six Flags Railroad as always. You can see Casa Magnetica is still closed, but earlier when we were on our way to the train, I saw some Six Flags team members taking some pictures out here. So maybe the social media team is getting ready to make an announcement for an opening. We can only hope. And also here in the Texas section, we saw this the last time we were here, but they have a carpenter out here actively working on the building. So Something I wouldn't normally point out, but because I've seen them on the weekends, both of the last two times we've been out here, it's pretty cool to see that level of improvement happening. As we cut back over to Smith Street, you can see another one of these frames for what we assume is a park map. We've been saying that, but obviously it's not confirmed. I don't know what else would go here. We are rounding into the Mexico and Spain sections. 
because uh, we haven't quite been there yet. I'm back around to the front, but lots more landscaping work going on over here too. It looks really good. And as we enter into Spain, we're greeted with lots of flowers along this little entry portal and quite a few hanging baskets in this area. Hanging baskets in the uh, queue of Conquistador and along this pathway over here. Really like it. It's very vibrant. Over here at the Casa de Six Flags gift shop, we ran into a mural painting in progress. You can see the sign here. Mural painting in progress. This looks really good. These are fun. I wonder if they are going to put these in each of one of these little divots because it would uh, really continue kind of the brightening up of this area, but looks awesome. And of course, also in the Mexico section, you have the El Sombrero Flat Ride, which you can see is back open after being repainted. This thing looks so good. So many different colors. I love how the seats are multicolored. And then of course, you've got the very vibrant topper there. And uh, this really wasn't closed very long, so. And as we finish up our visit here at Six Flags Over Texas today, just want to point out how vivid the flowers are in these planters up here near the front gate. This all just looks really good. Of course we pointed out the hanging baskets before, but just love how bright it is up here and it looks like they've got something growing in these little patched areas. So maybe some more flowers or they're trying to grow the grass back in. We'll have to wait and see. All right, everyone, that does it for this visit to Six Flags Over Texas. As you can see, still plenty of work going on, even more new food offerings. Korean dogs were delicious. It's fun to see the brand new Nitro Ices, whatever that is. We might have to check that out at some point. And of course, all the work with the ride refurbishments, the mural in Mexico, all that stuff, the landscaping. It's all looking really good, shaping up to be a good summer here. We'll be out here as the summer starts to kind of ramp up because we've got the new entertainment offering to check out. We'll have even more special events coming up that haven't been done out here before. Uh, so we'll keep you updated on those as well. If y'all have any questions about Six Flags Over Texas, check out sfotsource.com. That is a huge in-depth guide to the park. But also, of course, ask us questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them. We thank y'all for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon.